Welcome back to Alone in the Dark, guys. We just escaped the Egyptian desert, and now we are back at Darsetto. So let's investigate and find out what it is about Dr. Gray. And why is this... Wh why? <laughs> this is what I've been wondering since I was first in, in the staircase here. Yeah. Why is there a bed dangling from this? It's a bit weird. Oh, this was locked. Okay, so we can't go this way. I love the atmosphere, though, now with the thunder and lightning outside and everything. It's amazing. I think I hear monsters. I'm not sure. Solvable. Oh, that is sweet. I actually didn't notice that they have, um, they mark puzzles that you can solve at the moment and doors you can open. There is a puzzle in the clerk's office that I haven't checked out yet. Dr. Gray's office. So this is where I probably have to go now. So through the grand parlor, dining room, uh, the servant's stairs. No, wait. No, how do I get there? <laughs> We have to go back up and th go through the gallery and then down the stair to the stair hall and then reception. Probably, hey. I don't see another way. Everything else is blocked. Crap. So did I go the wrong way then? Shit. Okay, hang on. Back up. Oh, wait. Can I go? I need the key. Yeah. But this one is blocked, so how do I do this? <laughs> I used to be able to go through here, didn't I? What happened? Who locked this? Ruth, was that you? How ruthless of you. Still can't go in the attic. Mm. Okay. I love games like these, where you have a big area and then puzzles to solve to make <sighs> your way to forward. to be around here somewhere. He wouldn't leave this house. Lottie? I don't know what that game about. Baptiste? You run into that dick fella. Who is he? Can he be trusted? I think he wanted a good guy. Well, you know, not good. Will he be all right with her coming? Praise the mother. <gasps> he don't need to know about all that. Let <coughs> go. Just calm down. It ain't time yet. God, it hurts. As far as I can tell, the she chick possessed or something? To be problem, not causing. Just be ready in case he starts anything. Anything. I ain't start nothing, ma'am. But that was sus. She, she, she was possessed. The two orderlies still hadn't found Jeremy. Conby figured this was good news. Emily had reminded him about some strange deaths at Dossetto, and Conby wasn't sure who he could trust. Break into Dr. Gray's office and find out what he knows. Given that Dr. Gray is still chilling in his office, actually. Okay, let me consult my map once more. I can go to the rooms. Ruth's room, empty room, McCaffrey's room. How do I get to the clerk's office and the reception? Dr. Gray's apartment. That's not where I'm supposed to be, right? I'm just I'm supposed to go to the clerk's office and then to the doctor's office. Everything is locked that I can see. Maybe I just have to try all the bolted doors again. Maybe I can open something now. Oh god, the rod is taking over. Oh, guess this is the way that I gotta go. Aye. 
Ay, 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 ay. Ugh. This is a bit confusing because the paths just changed. Ideally, I would be able to go through the um, piazza, piazza, around here, but this is blocked, is it not? It's blocked. So how do I? I won't be able to. All oh, the starters. <laughs> I don't want to run into the orderlies right now. I'm not sure I can trust them. Okay. I understand. I think Dr. Gray might be in there. Perfect time to snoop around his office then. But how do I get there? Every path is blocked. <laughs> so I need to go here. Let's follow this backwards. Dr. Gray's office, clerk's office, reception, stair hall. How do I get to the stair hall? From the garage? Maybe if I go this way? I can't go through there. I don't understand how they, they want me to do this. Maybe the garage is the way. Because there are stairs in the stair hall and... I don't know. Gallery. Maybe through the gallery. And then the stairs to the stair hall. Okay, let's try that one. This is my bestest approach right now. So... Gallery. We have to go all the way down somehow. Now how do I get there? <laughs> Just take the stairs here. All the way down. Hmm. Slow and steady. Game, you're making it overly complicated right now. go out as well. Everything is locked. What the hell? Lunacy and the Astarte Artist Colony. Lunacy and the Astarte Artist Colony. A monograph by Yael Klein. In early 1909, the old Derseto plantation outside of New Orleans was turned into an artist's colony. Three famous European artists rented the house and the surrounding land from the owner, the Ledoux family. The colony was chiefly run by Sebastian Cortez, who was playfully dubbed the captain by his collaborators, William Argus and Heinrich Kassel. The colony existed for six years, until one day all twelve members disappeared without a trace. It is widely believed that their disappearance is connected to the disastrous hurricane that passed through on September 29, 1915, but nothing truly supports this claim. What is known is their frequent participation in New Orleans nightlife, their love for hosting parties, and their elaborate contributions to the Mardi Gras parades as the Pirates of Ponchartrain. Accounts of their lifestyle can be found in almost every gossip column. It can effectively be summed up as carefree and bohemian. In late June 1909, the name Astarte first appeared in the newspapers. Cortez said the name came to him as he was painting. There is never any claim to knowing about the ancient Phoenician fertility goddess with the same name before this time. His fellow colonist Heinrich Kassel did know because he later produced sculptures that show clear references to ancient idols of the goddess. It's impossible to know for sure how this name suddenly made an appearance, but it is interesting because of Derseto's history. 
Even the name Derseto is the Greek name of a Syrian fertility goddess. In the case of naming the plantation, Derseto was certainly not an accident. We know that Elia Pickford intended to build a temple for his cult, for he had distributed pamphlets two years prior to the purchase of the land, advertising his intentions. His followers were estimated to be almost a hundred men and women, wow. mostly sailors, maroons, and Cajuns, when the plantation was built. To outsiders, Dorsetto registered as an ordinary slave plantation, which enabled Pickford and his flock to remain hidden for decades. The official story is that the cult lasted until 1862, when the Union Army came and burned down the plantation and scattered all who lived there. Following the Civil War, new people started to congregate in the ruins of Derseto to invent a new fertility goddess, the Shub Nigrath. As much as Derseto is a particular name to have heard of, it's not entirely uncommon among the learned. Astarte is equally known and could have been subconsciously chosen by well-read artists. Shub Nigrath is, on the other hand, very uncommon. Almost impossible that anyone in Louisiana would have heard that name. The name is referenced only in rare books like Udnausprechlichen Kulten and the Necronomicon, and is believed to be a bastardization of Arabic words meaning pertaining to the dark young. The few paragraphs printed on the goddess are so upsetting that no one in their right mind would want to build a religion resting on such qualities. Mm -hmm. okay. The Shub Nigarath cult was hard to get rid of, but it is believed that despite the police jailing and killing several cultists over the years, the main culprit in the cult's demise is the cult itself, which seems to line up with every instance of cult activity on Darseto's grounds. When Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army arrived, he described the people at Derseto as malnourished and maniacal. As much as the army tried to save them, they fought back with fervor, as if nothing was going to stop them from slowly destroying themselves. While the disappearance of the Astarte artist colony remains a mystery, the recurring motif seems to suggest that their fate involved lunacy and a hunger for self-sacrifice, to that fertility goddess with a thousand names. Unaussprechliche Kulten. That means basically un unspeakable cults. Unaussprechlich. It's not literally, but. Um, so maybe this is my path through here? This room? Or these rooms? Honestly, I, I tried multiple paths and none of them worked. I guess I'm supposed to go through here again. I'm just trying at this point. I'm just winging it. I couldn't go anywhere, really. We go down here now. Oh, oh. Keep our secrets. Mrs. Thompson, I understand the last week has been busy. Under these circumstances, I find it important to remind you that Dorsetto's concerns are not a public matter, nor is it something that should upset you. Please continue your excellent work, and don't spend a thought on the death of Perosi, or, more importantly, the suicide of Cassandra Beauregard. They should mean nothing to you or the staff. I rely on your loyalty and trust that your close kinship with the Tabois siblings will keep Dorsetto's secrets hidden. Dr. Gray. Dr. Gray. All right, Dr. Gray. It's almost like I'm listening to an audiobook. Yeah, there's lots of lots of talking and I'm Holy moly. Okay, this tree can talk. I 
I mean, we always heard some whispering around this tree, but... Now that tree actually, or the voice that we heard coming from the tree, actually addressed us with by name and everything. Can I go through here now? Game is saving. If I want to go... If I want to go to the um, garage or something, then this is my best shot, actually, this area, I think. This is still locked, okay. They give you hope when you look at this and you see a key and a green icon, you know, you think like, oh yeah, I can open this. And then, nope. It's well voice acted in a way better than a bunch of reading. Yeah, I actually really like this. Find the alternative way to the stair hall. What is this? What the heck was that? Did you hear that? Was it just the birds? Or what? <laughs> that scared me. Yeah, the tree was speaking. Oh god, the bear. My god, I forgot about the bear. <laughs> I was like, wow! <laughs> Big monster. Okay, this was closed the entire time and... I need the key. It still is. Please stay a statue, Mr. Bear. Please, please. Uh-huh. This is what we gotta do now, I guess. Let me just check I my alternative. can't leave. I got a job to do. Ah, this is the main door. It doesn't look so main door-y, does it? This looks like a main door for some reason. I don't know. The Flying Dutchman. Ooh. This is also blocked. My god. I remember there's a safe here. There must be a spare key to Dr. Gray's office in here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. This is the... Mm -hmm. mm. This is the door. Key. Can we just... I don't know. Use a... A tool? Open up the safe inside the clerk's office objective. Okay. But how? I don't have the combination for this. But maybe Jeremy did. What are we gonna do... <laughs> Maybe Jeremy did? What do you what do you, what does he mean? There was no highlighted anything, right? How do I open this bloody thing? Did I get a code? Did I forget that I got a code? Crap. Maybe Jeremy knows. So maybe I have to go back to Jeremy now? Okay, math. Uh. Oh, my license. License number 196692 LA. Hmm. Lasting debt. Carmby, why am I hearing about Gloria Allen that you got some job at the Looney Bin? You better not be thinking of paying her off before me. I don't want to take you for a ride, so get me my money. I'll be at the Maccabean all night if you score some dough. 
Common place book, talisman, Rosie's journal, the dagger. Date of administration 913. Maybe it's 913. All right, time to get Jeremy out of that contract so we can get the hell out of here. Something tells me I'm gonna have to put my talisman to use. H here, right now? 913, right? Um. It worked. Dr. Gray's office key. Sweet. The last guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladaption. I must write this down, because if I understand the condition sufficiently, it could make me deny this fact at a later date. And there is reason for me to think I may come to suffer the consequences from this dysfunction, as some who came in contact with the guest seemed to adopt a new world view in which everything was predetermined but broken. Upon accepting this world view, some memories became unmanageable and later rejected. I do not know what this means. I cannot even remember the fate of the guest. I think they were simply misplaced one day and forgotten. Uh, just like all documents pertaining to this guest, they have all been destroyed, or they never existed in the first place. So Who wrote this? There has never been a guest in the empty room. The last guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladaption. I must write this down, because if I understand the condition sufficiently, it could make me deny this fact at a later date. And in the end, he actually did. There is a reason for me to think I may come to suffer the consequences from this dysfunction, as someone as some who came in contact with the guest seemed to adopt a new world view in which everything was predetermined. Okay, so I might forget about it as well. Wait, was there something else here? No, it was just the interaction button with a with a door. Dr. Gray's office. Ooh. All to myself. Let's see if we can figure this guy out. <laughs> okay. Let's just open the escape way already. Cassandra's thing. I have finished tidying up Miss Beauregard's belongings. I will leave it to you to contact her agent and have them collect her things. I found one of Grace's drawings she might want back, along with this key in her room, which I believe you've been looking for. Mrs. Thompson. Oh, okay. Franz! We found Franz, guys! McCarthy's pirate treasure? <laughs> This is where McCarthy has hidden my favorite young. It's very important. That is the shittiest treasure map I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? Doctor, doctor? That is one hell of a key, stairwell key. Oh my god. You can, you can kill somebody with that. Hit them on the noggin and they just faint and die and whatnot. Jeremy's treatment. Dearest Dr. Manzetti, I find myself in a losing battle with my patient. As I've disclosed in my previous letter, his delusions have him completely captured. It's bad enough that he is torturing himself with paranoia, but his madness turns out to be quite persuasive to others, effectively laying the ground for mass delusion. I am writing to you in hope that you can give me some guidance. Beyond my ambition to avoid devastating surgery on my patient, I have grown worried about my own defenses. The words of my patient are deranged, yet they often resonate with something primitive within me. I have tried photographing his brain with x-rays, 
It was surprisingly difficult to get good results. Dark blotches on the plates kept obscuring all details. My patient looked at the bad plates and cried out in terror, telling me the dark areas was the shadow of the worm eating him from inside. Ew. I could not see anything out of the ordinary. I hope this is a sign that my mind is not as receptive to the madness as I had feared. After further inquiry, my patient described the shadows inside his mind as some kind of chthonic monstrosity that wants to undermine his sanctuary. This is clearly a reference to a place he calls Teroea, a sort of library or convent that works as a psychological haven. With this imaginary haven threatened by this Chthonian, he has now constructed another less pleasant hiding spot. Lately, he has been bringing up a metaphor of a steamboat that has run aground, that he feels like he needs to start the engines and reverse, but he is afraid that the hole in the hull would cause the whole ship to sink. I've been watching him turn this metaphor into reality for the last week. He knows it's made up, but he is doubling down, trying to make it a real memory. I feel certain that this is my chance to break through the barriers of his self-deceit. This game is so trippy, and I'm here for it. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Okay. Um, we can now open the stairwell and there is a puzzle in the clerk's office. Still. There's a puzzle here. What? Wait. Was it not this? I'm so confused. I thought I thought the the save was the puzzle. But we solved that one now. Maybe I was wrong. Is it just here? No, it's definitely in the clerk's office. Maybe that's something for later? Am I blind? Huh. Does this game have action? Oh yeah, yeah, there's there's shooting as well. I'm just stupid. I don't understand what where this puzzle is leading <laughs> and which one it is. But it's it's white, so it's maybe not solvable at this point. We have explored the pink area, but we haven't completed it. The blue one is completed. Okay, anyway, we can go to the stairwell now. Um and we have this one hint about the treasure map. Ooh, quarantine, laboratory, infirmary and stuff. So we can go down now. Ooh, I'm excited. And also, can I go up to the empty room, roof's room? Okay, anyway, whatever we do, we gotta go. Um, we gotta go to the mezzanine area again and through the stairwell just have to find my way back there now ah! what what the what, am i on a boat Cool. Creepy, but cool. Okay, mezzanine, mezzanine, mezzanine. I don't have the map layout uh, in my head yet. <laughs> um, I guess I go... Can't go this way. 
Is it through here? This fella again. Detective Conby. Good to see you again. Solved your case yet? I'm trying. Hey, Grace, you okay? Oh, she is just peachy, Detective. Are you looking forward to the Feast of St. John, Grace? I can't wait. Kids, ain't they great? What exactly are you planning for tonight? Oh, not much. We eat, we drink, we pay tribute to the wishing tree in the conservatory. The usual. Uh-huh, the tree. And why all the excitement? That is just something about tonight. Something that's different. I think we all feel it. Besides, we got ourselves some new words for the prayer thanks to your buddy Jeremy. She'll come and turn the world inside out. And things will begin again. That sounds strangely threatening. You should come. <laughs> you should take off the mask. It's terrifying. <laughs> God damn it, Grace. Stay put for once. You drink some water instead of that stuff, sir. <laughs> Oy. What's that? Oh, we lost a key. First floor hall key. I'll better hold. Oh, sorry. Okay, we have Franz. Jimmy's treatment. What did I get? Tonight. McCarthy nah. was a deadbeat. His mere presence annoyed Conby. It was like watching the worst version of himself mock him by simply being worthless. While Conby enjoyed watching the child outplay the drunkard, there was something terrifyingly familiar about Grace. It was taunting him, like he was supposed to remember, but couldn't. She reminds me a little bit of the lady we found dead in the bed, you know, with her folded hands. Um, break the darkman's contract. Their shadow. Investigate Cassandra's room. Break through the barriers of self-deceit. Look for the treasure in Grace's drawing. Acknowledge psychological trauma. Look for Jeremy's X-ray plates in the infirmary. Oh, please, wouldn't want him to get lost. So we can put There's friends now. Missing. And now we get a map. Map of Caribbean. Okay. We making progress, ladies and gentlemen. Oh uh, god, we're so not done anywhere. It looks like we need two more paintings to complete this. Where are we gonna find this painting? Paintings, though. Wait, did I just pick up the clown thing? Oh no. What was that good for? There is a puzzle. Okay, this. So we gotta do something with these paintings. And we need to find two more, I guess. Which room is this? <sighs> All right. <laughs> Accessory deem malaka cap. Oh, wait, so I wanted to look. What door I'm standing in front of? I'm in the sitting room? And I'm looking at this door. You really have to go really close. Cassandra's room. Let's go inside. Sandra's last page. Jeremy knew that the only one who could help him now was the guest in room number three. The room seemed to have been empty for so long. But that wasn't allowed to be true. The story needed to be different. To include something from the outside, he would bring the guest back to room three and show them what was in that safe. Nine, one, three. But those were not the right numbers. That was the combination for the safe in the clerk's office. But I already, I've already done that. That we've already done. 
movie script. Ooh. That is a nice and big bed. These bottles again. I've already done this. Or is this just a... Have we been here? Do we have to do something again with this? No, we're done here. Okay, so I probably just had to go in and take these things, right? Nice cap, thanks, it's my own merch. That's the bathroom again. Ugh. Okay, I think we're just going out again, then we need to go to the mezzanine and take the stairwell, right? So basically just straight ahead. Run, 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 run. Come on. Choppy chop chops. Should I go in any of these rooms? We're not done with Jeremy, Har Jeremy Hardwood's room. Probably won't be at this point, because there's probably more to it. What's this? Detective... To Detective Carmby. Detective Carmby, I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. Please, with all my blessings, take her away from this cursed place. I have destroyed that eater of worlds and locked it away in the attic and retreated to a place of hiding. Tell Emily I'm safe. Tell her all the lies you can think of to make her listen. Take her back to Norland. Sincerely, Jeremy. So polite. Sincerely. So, is there something I could interact with? Oh, boy, choppy chops. Um, so there is something nasty in the attic. I knew it. Okay, now we picked everything up there. Batiste's room. Can I go in there now? So we've definitely been in lots of these rooms, but it seems like they just drop information there, so they update the map again. Trust me. Brother, I need you to trust me. This is the most important moment in our family's history. I know you have doubts and that the terrible Mama Loa told you lies. Mama Loa. I would never betray you. I promise. Lottie. Lottie. Ah, Batiste is the guy who's into boxing. Gotcha. Okay. Addicts are scary even in real life. <laughs> oh, why did it close itself? Okay. To the stairwell, which was over there, I think, right? Ooh, now we can finally open these gates to go down into the basement area. New areas! I love it! Looking for- yeah, Who locked this shit? Like, why would you do that? <laughs> who was running around closing doors on me? This. Wow, that key. Ooh. It is so satisfying when you bump into a door and you would like to go through it, but all the time you cannot. And then finally you get the key or the item or whatever, and then you can finally open it. And oh my god, what is this? Oh lord. Oh, massive chest and you can't open it. Ooh. Why is there... Why is there steam or... or Whatever, coming out of massive metal. Seen a back door and I want to turn. Scapegoat. <laughs> oh god, this feels this feels like it's I'm in an asylum. And we I need the key. 
key. I also hear voices. <laughs> Where is this coming from? This is disturbing. I'm sorry, I, I, I tried to find a way to get closer to it, but I just couldn't. But it seems to... Oh. Radiography notes. Radiography. Patient Jeremy Hartwood. Date, June 14, 1930. Plates. Jeremy's skull proved difficult to capture properly. Partial radiographs work best. A complete picture of the brain can be assembled by piecing three plates together. Okay. Observations. Even when looking at an assembled version, a shadow covers significant parts of Jeremy's brain. Possible tumor, but more likely that the equipment is failing. <laughs> Jeremy reacted strongly to the pictures and claimed to see a giant clay worm eating and displacing his memories. Notes. While this exercise has left me nowhere closer to an answer, I feel confident that a Burkhart lobotomy should sever all necessary parts. Lobotomy. Really? Shit. I wonder he's crazy. If all else fails. Hypothetical psychosurgery based on the ideas by Burkhart and the St. Petersburg research could end up saving Jeremy's mind. Severing the connections around the frontal lobe would certainly solve most mental afflictions. The procedure would be brutal in performance, as well as in efficiency. An ice pick pushed through the edge of the eye and into the skull would untether the nerves like Alexander cutting the Gordian knot. As this would likely leave Jeremy in a very different condition, all other paths should first be explored. The medical instrument I would need for this lobotomy is missing, and I should have Waits order a new one. Please, no. Please, no. Oh, God. Don't let me, let me do the findings of the items to perform this lobotomy. Please, please, please. Electrical fuse. Okay. Okay, I need another fuse. Uh, surgery room key. Radiograph number two. Oh god. Okay, so we need another fuse. That's pretty certain because I see uh, an empty socket there. If my eyes don't fail me right now. <laughs> um... This dialogue seems to be repeating itself, so I'm not gonna stand still and listen for it or never. Oh, oh, oh. And this is radiograph number two. Number one, I mean, yeah. Partial capture of a brain grimed by unsettling darkness. Ooh. It's the dark man taking over. He's here. Now, do I go in here? Nope. Don't let him go. I don't feel right. 
Turn on the electricity first to study the x-rays. Give me that fuse so I don't have to listen to that anymore. Sweet. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Okay. Everything done already here in this room? No. What am I missing? There's more. Do I need to find the tools in here? Oh god. Um, so we can put the other fuse in there now. Do we know any numbers about this? That was easy That's enough. Better. Oh, you have to put... okay. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, we have to... ah, just three of them, right? How can I remove everything again? How can I remove this one? Remove all. It doesn't let me. Move marker, remove all plates. Why you no work? I want to remove the other one. <laughs> God dang it. It says L, press L to remove all plates and it won't do it. There's a note on this one. I would just really like to pick them each up and then remove them, you know? Maybe the maybe the one that I placed is the correct one. Oh, okay, I could move it. Oh, finally. Can I pick them up and turn them around? So I guess this one is correct because it says his name, Jeremy. Ah, ah, okay. Hang on, I wanna try. This is this is horrible. I just need three of them, right? This is way too small to be actually the one that fits there. Ugh. them fit really maybe this goes like that Ah, 
And did I... Ah, oh, finally. <laughs> this is horrible. It at least looks a bit like it. I think the the bottom thing is correct. First off, it has a Jeremy, Jeremy's name on it, and the date. On this whiteboard, or however you want to call it, you have three slots. One in the upper left, one in the center down, and one in the upper right. So I'm pretty certain that this one, who is like almost a perfect circle, needs to be at the bottom. First off, so that the text is on the right side, you know, it's like not upside down. It, it looks like the tip of the, the skull or like the back, you know what I mean? Like it's just, it just pieces things together. Okay, guys, do you know? So this one goes in the bottom that, that, that I was correct with. I assume I have to turn it this way. Um, this, this is what I, how far I was certain as well. Top left goes left. This one. Yeah, this is how far I've got as well, right? This one. And then this one. Oh god. Fucking hell. <laughs> Thanks guys. Sorry for my impatience, but the 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 bleh. <laughs> That that was that was too random for me. Jeremy's darkness. Okay, I'm taking his darkness. A broken piece of burnt clay. Its size suggests it's been it's being a part of a statue. Okay. Statue. Am I aware of any statues? Do we know of any statues? Where could I put this? Oh, maybe, maybe I have to go back, back upstairs to these art pieces. <laughs> um, I guess I do. Just want to make sure I've been everywhere. Wait, in the lab? What? Are we not done here? Is there anything else? Uh. It says we're not done in this room. Maybe we're not done overall, but I can't do anything right now. Confusing. Come on, open this up again. Do I have to go? Ooh, this looks different. <gasps> oh, Jesus. I can't go upstairs. Why does this keep happening? What am I supposed to do? Go upstairs? So we don't drown? Maybe? Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh shit. Oh, holy Cthulhu. Oh dear. Oh dear. Give me the ore. Give me the ore. Go, 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 go! Squeeze, 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 squeeze! Come on! You gotta be kidding me. What, am I going on the boat? Okay, okay, hurry. Wait, am I really going to the attic now? Oh, we are. We are indeed. And we're back here. Oh, perfect time to have a look around this place. What do you mean, back here? Oh! Oh, this is where we woke up and where Emily found us. Okay. I didn't I didn't realize we were actually in the attic then, in that, and when we began the, the chapter here. <laughs> tessellated shard. I don't know what tessellated means. Oh. 
Choppy chops. Oh no, not more cockroaches. JH. Ooh. I don't know the... Oh wait, I do. <laughs> Six, four, one. Okay, let me... Let me get my paper out. Six, four, one. And we need this thing. So... One is... Aquarius. The waves. Four is one, two, three, four, this one. And uh, six. Um, so the big wheel is, wait, where would I, why would I have to do this? Literally, why did I, why did I even do this? I just, I, okay. <laughs> I was expecting to need to be, um, having these signs again. <laughs> Overthinking much? Big one is six, right? I don't I don't know, do I have to like focus on, on the top thing or on the little thingy in the bottom? I'm not sure. Four is already correct. And then one, right? Okay, always always go for the arrows, I guess. Okay, a news. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Choppiness. Sorry, eagle. <gasps> what? What is it? I have to drop down here now, I guess. 69, nice. <laughs> okay, let me just look around. Okay. I was hoping for a little bit of loot. That's why I'm looking everywhere now again. But I'm pretty certain I have to jump down. Or maybe not, there is a news right here. There's strange lighting coming from everywhere. Do we just go through here? Is this the way? No, <laughs> never mind. Well, it was pointing down in through the hole in the ground, but it was pointing to a room that is not there right now. Oh, I'm stuck on invisible things. There you go. I unstuck myself. I guess we just jumped down. Maybe the room will change underneath me now. Uh, no, kind, this? kinda did. This is where Jeremy's hiding, right? Hello? Is anyone there? Jeremy? I need help! Wait, can you hear me? I'm stuck in the mud and the fire is taking me. Jeremy, where are you? The motor is dead. I can't do anything more. Hang on, Jeremy. I'll figure something out. I'll get the boat running. Jeremy was calling out for help, but Combi couldn't figure out where the voice was coming from. For a moment, Combi wondered if the boat itself was Jeremy, 
or if he was below it somehow. It didn't matter right now. Jeremy was clear on one thing. He wanted Combi to get the steamboat running and out of the mud. Out of the mud? I love the way she's talking so much. No loot! Ugh. That is a crime. You do see a loot crate or a drawer or something and then you open it and there's nothing inside. Just nothing. So rude. This game looks interesting. Yeah, it is on it is on GOG. I actually got the key from GOG. Thanks, GOG. Oh, the cleaning lady hasn't been here in a while, I guess. Planned. And taking over. What? What? No face huggers, please. <sighs> drink, 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 drink more. Ew. <sighs> Do school sting. Was it trying to face hug me? Like the ones in Alien? Oh. Please, no. <laughs> Please, oh, now we have the spiders, though. I thought we'd have to deal with the those. The boat's wedged itself right into the bayou. If I get the motor started, I could try reversing back into the river. Xenomorphs? Hi. I call them face huggers. Should I go up or down? I don't know. <laughs> I want to go everywhere at once. Ah, door can open. Nice. Jeremy, where are you? Broken compass. Oh, healing. Very sweet. Thank you. And a chest with... More healing. Oh boy. I'm not- I, I don't trust games anymore. When they give me stuff, when they give me resources, I'm always suspecting to be uh, having to use them very soon. I get a lot of ammunition. Oh, there's gonna be a nasty fight. <laughs> I get healing. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm gonna get hurt. Okay, not this way. This place is weird. Can I bang the ball? <laughs> no. <laughs> Boom. What, have, what? Okay, I thought I could pick up the red lantern, but nope. Oh, do I lower the boat, maybe? The rescue boat? I mean, probably, but I want to look around first. There might be- there might be stuff I can pick up. You know, I still have faith. I still believe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Son of a gun. This one is locked, okay. Huh. Got him. Got a sledgehammer, sweet. And an empty cough, uh, coffer? How's it called? A uh, suitcase? Empty. Ooh, 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 wait, I want my, I want my, I want my sledgehammer back! Screw the hatchet! Oh no! 
Oh no, we lost the, the beautiful, beautiful sledgehammer, guys. Oh no. Oh no. That makes me sad now. Aha, uh -huh, another one. Got a new hatchet. Should I go down first or should I go and, and lower the boat, maybe? This one? Ugh. This is fine. This is... Oh, maybe I can't. Maybe I need to find levers first. Oh god, please don't. Please don't. The winch is powered by electricity. I need to find a way to turn it on before I can use it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's not even there. It's a bit glitchy. Could you just die? I think this thing is broken. I'm just wasting my ammunition. <laughs> have to go this way though. Ugh. <sighs> calm down, Carnby, calm down. Don't you dare <sighs> break into the wheelhouse. <sighs> no. Calm down, sir, calm down. I got you. Okay, we broke in. Heavy breathing. <laughs> no! What? Tomb Raider. PTSD all over again. I'm pushing down and he's climbing up. Down, 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 down. There you go. <laughs> oh, this is a new level of darkness here. Go through there now. Empty gas can. And nothing. Do I have to repair this thing? This definitely needs fuel. It's empty, okay. So we have to find a source of fuel so we can put it in the empty gas can and then we can refuel the generator, right? Right. Let's go. Filled gas can. Wow. That was easier than expected. Okay, for a second I thought there was another one of these monsters. No thanks. Aww. They let me open so many things and there's nothing inside. Maybe I could go through there now, but nope. So do I climb back now and use the boat thing to go down to the bayou? I hope I do. Because otherwise I have no plan. <laughs> That's my master plan right now. I love how other games usually are like, hey, follow the... I don't know, the, the police tape, the yellow police tape, or follow the white chalk markings everywhere. And this game is just follow the blood. Open, 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 open. I'm just running. Screw them. Don't even think about it. Yeah, good thing. What's with the music though? Um... 
Um, oh, magic, magic happened. Whew, thank God. <laughs> you know, I have the urge to save this real quick. <laughs> oh, it doesn't let me. <laughs> I was like, crap, how do I, how do I fix that now? <sighs> Holy glitch fest. <laughs> okay, my health is full, so let me pick this up. The drinks first and then pick this up. Ew. To the face. <laughs> oh, 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 I did a thing. I did a whoa, thing. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and it seems like I broke a thing. <laughs> Are you ready to tell me what happened in the act? I put a rope around my neck, and then I strangled all the life from my body. Are you under the impression that you died? Yes. No. I was supposed to die. What does that mean? That you were supposed to die. I'm the catalyst. I had to die to make the story happen. What story? Oh, what are you referring to, Jeremy? Thirty years ago, my head. Frederick needed me to die. You're not making any sense, Jeremy. Thanks. Come back. <laughs> Find hey. your focus. Hey! I cheated everyone. I didn't play my part. Hey! I escaped hey. my doom. My destiny. Again. Find hey. your focus. Hey, I'm right here. What the hell is going on? Oh, everything is wrong. Nothing is in hey! place. I'm right here! Calm down, Mr. Conby. What do you want? Did... Were you... Were you not talking to Jeremy right now? I haven't seen Jeremy all day. Are you all right, Detective? Oh, dear. No. Actually, actually, I don't... I don't think so. Well, maybe. I'm gonna go look for Jeremy. Good. Let me know if you find him. This is so, so trippy. That was Jeremy's self-deceit, a steamboat stuck in the mud. I'm not going to pretend I understand any of that. <laughs> what a bunch of psychoanalytic nonsense. <laughs> Can I take this hat now? My either one was in the, in the mouth or whatever that hole was from a monster. I don't want to, I don't want to have that. Special delivery from the monster, like, here, you fuck on your head. Ding. Uh, oh god. Okay. Find Grace's missing drawing and look for the treasure in Grace's drawing. Take a look inside the empty room. So I think I should go to the empty room first because I, I don't have another painting. But now I can go into this. Ooh. Is it this way? I think what they should do is... Um just follow what every other game does and instead of giving you a circle as a marker where you are do give it us give us a triangle so we know which direction we're looking right now can i open this now is this actually open <gasps> oh no i got the key Ooh. no no not you again Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it was stair contest. Who's winning? Who's winning? I won. 
Okay, I haven't been in any of these rooms. Hello. Surprisingly neat. Maybe I've been selling that old barfly short. He has Jesus over his head. A lady, a house, and a baby. A chunky baby at that. Cute chunky baby. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Oh, I need, okay, I need a screwdriver or, I don't know, um, maybe a coin? Moment of clarity. Sometimes, I think this place makes me worse. That Dossetto might be my grave. A coffin made of ostentatious architecture. A Taj Mahal for the drunken depressed. There's something about Dossetto. Something about Dr. Gray. Like we all pretend that we're here to get better. When in fact we are here to be forgotten. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. We need some object to um, unscrew the screws. Whatever the doc is prescribing, I don't want it. <laughs> Me neither. What's well, behind door number two? Somebody didn't make their bed. Ooh, I actually love thunder and lightning. Okay, is there nothing in here? Yeah, Roof's room. Okay. Where's this leading? <gasps> oh, finally! Please stay open. That'd be neat. It's kind of frustrating when you open a, an area and then this they just close it room. off again. I belong here. Are you okay? I almost called him Hopper just now. <laughs> Are you okay, Hopper? I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> okay, we have a we have a safe. I know the combination. I carry it with me. You do? So one of the many numbers that we have. Trust me. Is it 913 again? Room number three. Jeremy knew that the only one who could help him now was the guest in room number three. The room seemed to have been empty for so long, but that wasn't allowed to be true. The story needed to be different to include something from the outside. He would bring the guest back to room three and show them what was in that safe, 913. But those were not the right numbers. That was the combination for the safe in the clerk's office. And maybe we could try it. X-rays, plates, okay. I need to find that treasure still. Empty room. Uh, Grace's drawings, this key. Oof. Sandra's things, trust me. I don't know which one it is then, other than 913. Lasting debt. God, why is this so com hard to navigate through here? Was there anything on this page? No. So the only thing that I do have is 913 again. No. Maybe I need this. You should come. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. Is any of this real? <gasps> the three X's. That is my, that is my.
Or not? 196. Okay, 196. And then? No, not this. Oh, God. 196. 692. 692. Oh shit. <laughs> huh. Picayune? Picayune? I don't know. But it looks like a coin, so maybe with this we can open the thingy now. Detective Carmen. Detective. That's me! I have made many discoveries in my case. The child we want is safe, thanks to good people like me. And you, we are so similar, but you don't see all the things I do. To find your man, Jeremy, you also need to look for the girl. It has always been that way. The young deliver us all. You should have a look in my room. There's a piece of the puzzle you will need. Take care now. My coffee. I like that his name sounds a lot like coffee. How long have I been here? Too long. It's gnawing at your mind at this point. So now we should be able to get this open, it's right? It's like McCarthy has something hidden inside. I love these animations, like this zooming in there and then that happening. The missing picture. That looks terrifying. Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing his shank? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing? Maybe she did. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, not again. I don't want to go there. <laughs> From the Green Mile. Great movie. Oh, they give me a melee weapon. Like, here, take the shovel. <gasps> what? Oh, God, no. Hello. <laughs> they got more sturdy, didn't they? <gasps> no! Somebody tossed over the bear! Oh, no. Oh no, what's what's this? I swapped something. Keep 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 Oh crap, oh crap. Come on! Me, you son of a flying gun. Come here, come here, come here. I'm gonna take you all down! I wish you could aim. Just swing. Oh Lord. I'm full on shotgun shields? Hang on, we can change that. Oh come on! <laughs> You're bloody kidding me! Stop it! Hang on, hang on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Use. Okay, can I take this now? Thank you. Okay, I'm out of here. Sorry, coming through. What's this? Catch it. Okay, no. Oh my god. Are you. They stunned me. I, I cannot. I'm pushing it! Are we done? The one- I got one off me and then right after the other one latched onto me. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, we can do stuff in Grace's room now, which is here. But wasn't there multiple pictures? Oh my god, the legginess sometimes. I'm very sorry, guys.
No. Ah, this doesn't match. Okay, we're getting there. We slowly get there. I don't know about this one. Um, eh. No. This. There you go. Huh? Huh? What? Okay. Um, can't say that I recall which room that was. But it was a greenish tapestry, and there was a. Oh, I don't like the way the door just opened. <laughs> Greenish tapestry, there was one of these lamps. Can't go through here, okay. I understand. What's this? Also locked. Okay, we just have one way to go. Which makes things a bit easier, kinda. This looks familiar. How am I back at the office? Jeremy's never been here. That, that, my office? What do you mean? Okay, drink some. <sighs> and writing desk key, okay. That's me, isn't it? Okay. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. <laughs> okay. I, like, my instinct with horror games in general is always to make your way, ma make, figure out how to escape. <laughs> Just in case something happens, find a way to hide or find a way to run. Ah. Oh, that's what he meant. I thought this was just a strange lighting, and now I realize there's a shape. And it's my shape. Telegram key item. A telegram from Gabriella Saunders, sent December 25, 1928. My husband has returned to steal one of our most valuable paintings. I'm sure he means to sell it. If you hurry, I'm sure you can track him down. Okay. How long have it been since I drowned myself in drink and depression? And it all felt so peaceful, slipping away into oblivion. A welcoming dark voice wrapped around my mind like a heavy blanket. It turned off suddenly as I woke up from the sound of my office door closing shut. A messenger had left a telegram from Mrs. Saunders. She had a lead on where to find her husband and her kidnapped daughter. She's not mentioning the paintings. Well, she's just mentioning the paintings, not her daughter. Newspaper clippings. A crumbled newspaper clipping from December 23rd, 1928. Uh, philanthropist Teddy Saunders goes mad, kidnaps child. Theodore Saunders. He seems familiar. Huh. God, I used to drink so much back then. When was this exactly? What case was I working? The Saunders case? Figure out which case Carnby was working. Uh, do I find that out in this area here, or...? Ah. Okay, I'm missing at least one clue. 
at least. Just gotta find it. This is still, yeah, locked. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. This I can open, so let's see what's here. Looking for more paper. A note, a newspaper, a letter, something. Right? Right? I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to find it all in... Oh. I, I popped the head off the doll. I'm very sorry, Grace. <laughs> I didn't mean to. There's a safe, but I cannot open it. Or it's, it is already opened a li little bit, but... Okay, what? The music rocks. Photograph. Photograph of a man. Well, that is the Sanders guy. Nice. Uh, Mrs. Sanders says her husband has stolen a painting and means to sell it. Check out Thorn Hill. I remember this case. Magic threats. Her kid got taken by her father, headed out of state. But he had made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. At least I think so. Okay, and we just follow the red thread? Okay. Actually, a pretty neat design. Whoa, look at that. It looks cool. What was that? Okay, just a molotov. Must stop intrusive thoughts. Okay, never mind. I thought it's gonna be a Molotov cocktail, it's gonna burn. <laughs> but it just burns when it touches the monsters. I wanted to see what happens, I was curious. Ooh, machine gun. Machine gun ammo. Can I break the glass? That is some sturdy glass. Thornhill wasn't a bad man, but he had principles keeping him from handing out information about the heels. So he needed some convincing. Well, every case can't be squeaky clean. Shotgun ammo is... I need to use a shotgun more, guys. I cannot pick up the ammunition for it. That makes me sad. But, you know... I tend to keep the good weapons, like shotgun and everything that is powerful. I just keep it for moments where I really need it, you know? When I'm swarmed by lots of enemies and that's the best way to get, get them out of my face real quick, real fast. There's a lot of booze right next to the bed. Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornhill, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on an easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had a certain mesmerizing gloom that seemed to call out to me, telling me I was needed for something important. I felt myself falling into the painting, only being brought back by Thornhill, 
thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand and asking me to get the hell out. Hmm, okay. I don't remember this at all. But I can't say it didn't happen. Oh, oh shit! Shotgun, shotgun! Hey. <laughs> Can I go downstairs and get the shotgun shells? <laughs> Hold on a minute. What do you mean I'm full on shotgun shells? Reload. Haha. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> nope. Floating particles. Okay. The red thread leads through the balcony there, but let's look around. It's very trippy. Press to s oh, we sneak it. We sneak it again, chat. You're being sneaky, boys. No parking. <laughs> Are you following me? Turn around. I don't have anything to throw, so could you please? Do you mind? I don't like this. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can just outrun them. I think he's pretty much off to me at this point. Okay, running! Running it is! What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh! <laughs> run! 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 Sir, run! Would you? Would you? Health. Oh, 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 yo. Um, um, Tommy gun, Tommy gun. Ah, this is fine. This is fine, this is fine, everything is nice and dandy. Maybe I shouldn't have bing bonged the, the bing bong. The bell. <laughs> so the thread goes up there and there and, and then this way. Okay, cool. Whew. Thank you. <laughs> huh. oh, am I driving this? I feel bad for chugging this like like it's a water. It says I'm supposed to follow this way, but I kind of want to ha see what happens if I interact with this here. Okay, you literally just open and close the door so they can follow you. That's okay with me. Go this way. Can't go that way. Yeah, I know. Look, this is fine. I'm just looking around. <laughs> Candlestick. Still feels very bright. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait, I can, I can hit that with a candlestick. Nice. Hotel St. George. For some reason, this reminds me a lot of Ellen Wake 2 right now. Bonk.
Oh, here we are. On my way to the hotel, the Morgan gang caught up with me. I owed them money, a lot of it. I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt growing in size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out, and I sent the others packing. It was a stupid move. They'd be back. Oh. And now I have to deal with a lot of monsters, right? Oh, there they are. Oh, God. I wish he could run while he's reloading. Wait, did it die? It's awfully quiet all of a sudden. But the music is still going, so I am... Uh -huh. I don't know where to hit, but where's your weak spot? <laughs> Hang on a second, sir. Mm. Hmm. Oh. Supposed to follow this way. Drinking alcohol to heal, my god. Or somebody who had used to have a problem with alcohol. But maybe that's the whole thing. Maybe he's just drunken himself in some kind of delirium. Or maybe he's just a character in the book of this Cassandra Beauregard person. I don't know. Shit, what's that? Oh no, not- no, not you. No. Screw you. Thanks, no. Not these. Not these ground worms. No, 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 no! Okay, we just follow the threat. Anything in there? Yeah! More ammo. Ooh, shotgun shells. And nothing. <laughs> Ding! I don't know why you would do that. What's the, what's the reason for this? Curious napkin. <laughs> Just for the lulz, I guess. More ammo. They give you a lot of ammo right now. A lot of ammo. And I cannot take it. Ah, oh, shite. Okay. I found it. In the hotel ledger, I recognized the handwriting of the signature. Ted Stryker. It was him. I could feel it. It was the kidnapper I was hunting. I put on my knuckles and hurried up to his room. Ooh, are we gonna beat somebody up now? Something about that name, Ted Stryker, rings a bell. Feels vaguely familiar. Well, it better be. It was your case, wasn't it? God, everything is breaking. It's fine, you can handle this. Hotel bill. A hotel bill dated December 21st to 25, 1928. Ted Stryker. I recognize it. Oh, business card. David Thornhill's business card. But I didn't catch up with them here. I must have followed them. But where? Find out where the kidnapper went. Business card and hotel bill. No, this, please. 
Telephone directory. DeWitt Boarding School. A page torn from a telephone directory of business. Uh, $350 for the King's Port painting. That's right, he was running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee. Tallahassee. And he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. At the Pearl River Bridge. But, guys, that we will do tomorrow. Are you sure you wish to override? Yes, it's fine. Because it's pretty late already, guys, and I would love to continue, but I, I think it's it's good that we stop now. Then we can finish it probably tomorrow. You guys said there's five chapters. So we are still in chapter four, if I'm not mistaken. So we have maybe one and a half chapters for tomorrow. But yeah, really looking forward to tomorrow. I hope we will get some closure about everything because this is a wild story so far. And at this point, it could be pretty much everything still. So looking forward to continuing this with you guys tomorrow.